They don't let you turn off your phone even when an iPhone is dead. It's still traceable even when not on data or Wi-Fi. Satellites can pinpoint your iPhone's location. On top of that, the new M7 chip makes tracking your exact movements. Even if you take off the battery, the chip inside phone constitute of tiny cell that stores power for rebooting. The wireless providers are the main culprits, but given the billions of dollars in business dot Apple does with companies like Sprint, Atant, Verizon, the chances of Apple being in the loop are nearly 100%. They sell iPhones way above cost. IHS Incorporated reports that an iPhone costs $207 to manufacture. They sell them to wireless carriers for around $580. A $380 loss. So the providers are forced to make up the difference by raising rates on your text, calling and data, and charges heavily for overages. Even some experts suggest that Apple didn't really invented anything, 96% of their products came from outsourcing. Like A6 and A7 chips made by Samsung, iSight by Sony, flash memory by Toshiba, sensors by Xentech, gyroscope by French company and so on. A celebrated creative and inspirational genius. Apple co-founder Steve Jobs was uncompromisingly ruthless in his business and personal lives. In an early act of betrayal, Jobs ripped off his friend and co-founder Steve Wozniak by lying about a payment from a dowry of $5,000. He gave him $350 instead of a 50-50 split. Later after going public he refused to give a stock to his friend and Apple employee Dan Koch in 2011. It was rumored to be revenge for his support of Jobs' ex-girlfriend in her refusal to get an abortion when pregnant with Jobs' first daughter. After her birth, Jobs refused to acknowledge that he was her father even after a 1979 DNA test, confirmed paternity. When working for Apple you have to sign your life over. Company warns employees up front, not to reveal any secrets and doesn't hesitate to fire anyone who breaks the rules. Steve Jobs kept the onus on individual employees to keep their mouths shut. Says one former employee, you had to sign extra special agreements acknowledging that you were working on a super secret project and that you wouldn't talk about it to anyone even not your wife, and not your kids. Moreover in 2007 Steve wanted a glass screen for iPhone devices a few weeks before its launch. In order to get work done before deadline, the deal was sealed with Chinese company. 8,000 workers were roused from sleep, given a biscuit and tea, and they started fitting glass into 10,000 iPhone a day. According to a report by Pentagon, Apple had avoided paying $44 billion of taxes from its subsidiaries companies include three entities set up in Ireland. Apple transferred its intellectual property rights to these subsidiaries, allowing it to be managed in the US while avoiding US taxes. This made Apple to amass $165 billion of cash and marketable securities. When Jobs returned to Apple in 1997, he promptly cut all of the company's charitable programs. On the other hand Google gives $27.6 million in charity each year. Despite the fact Apple's profit is more than a quarterly revenue of Microsoft, Google, Yahoo and Facebook all combined together. So what does Apple do with Tsunami of Money? Documents claims, they invested all of his riches into tax heaven countries which is used for funding oil companies operated in US Iran and Saudi Arabia, included Boeing, Apple, and its subsidiaries.